Simple. I get the kids to put their hand up in class. Okay. And then I say, who can do that? Uh huh. Yeah. Who can uh -huh. do that? Who can yeah. do that? Who can do that? And they can all do that. Yeah. And I said, well, the monkeys can't do that, right? Because they can't touch their little finger with their with their thumb. And one 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 result of that is you can take a pen, write a nice letter, or you can actually paint like Rembrandt could, because you've got all the fine motor skills and they don't. Okay. Regardless of the claim we're so like them, regardless of the fact that you visit the zoo and the advertising says, meet your relatives this weekend, uh -huh. right? Your relatives are behind the cage and you're in the front. The monkeys don't come to visit you, you go to visit them, and even if you say, oh, it looks just like my baby brother, right? <laughs> and your baby brother goes, punch, right? They are actually so different because they can't do that. Okay. If I was actually to get them to hold their left leg up and touch their toes, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. But that's why they can hold upside down on a tree and if you try holding on to a tree branch with your toes, ah, splat, right? So the differences are so incredible. Okay. Now, have you noticed how they walk? Yes. How yeah, do yeah. they walk? Well, usually on, on four legs like why? this. I have never really thought about okay. it. Okay, I'll tell you what you can find out. They've got hands on their hands okay. and their feet have got thumbs. So you've got two hands yeah and you've got two thumbs, okay. and you've got two feet. They've got four hands, because they've got four thumbs. They've got thumbs on their feet. That's yeah. why they can hold onto the branches, okay. right? You don't have thumbs on your feet. That's why you can walk upright so easily. And if those people are out there watching, if you want to run an experiment, you will have noticed that kids sometimes like to stand upside down and walk on their hands. Yeah. OK, go and do it and then try to walk from here to Nashville from Dallas. <laughs> what you'll discover is that hands are really good for doing that. Uh -huh. Feet are really good for doing that. As okay. the young girls learn at self-defence, someone grabs you around, they want to molest you or anything, yeah. just grab their finger and go that. Yes, it's very you, sensitive. You yeah. can't get someone's toe and go that because your toe's designed to do that, right? right? Your hand's not. So we have two hands, they have four. A simple difference, but you know what the result is? The way you walk because they can't walk very far on their hands and they've got four of them. Okay. And if you can't work very far on your hands, you end up on all four. But if you end up on all four, you end up with an interesting problem. You see, when you stand, you've got legs there, legs there, and your head hangs over the end. Yeah. Right, so that means the weight of your head must be balanced by the structure of your backbone. Oh. So okay. therefore your head hangs down, your backbone must shape up like that. Uh -huh. Now, if you went to a doctor as a human being and he said, oh, look at your backbone, <laughs> right? You'd be rushed off the hospital straight away. Yeah. That's because you're designed to have your head up here. The weight balances evenly on your backbone, whereas the weight on a monkey hangs on the backbone. And if it didn't, you see, it's got to put its head up, otherwise it would run into every tree, right? right. So how do you think it holds its head up? Well, maybe muscles? Muscles. OK. OK. Now, I, I was actually looking at my young offsider who works with creation research now, young Joseph, you've met Joseph, Absolutely. right? And he was on his laptop for hours. Then all of a sudden he went, oh, oh, right. And I said, that's because you're not a monkey. You're not a gorilla. Uh -huh. They hang their heads all the time. And your head is meant to be upright. A uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, buy some of those vertical computers. You know, you can actually work with your head upright. Right. But the end result is they don't have much space in their brains. What comes next? Why, why aren't you a monkey interviewing me? Well, because they can't talk. Good. Do you know why not? There's not enough room in there for a speech program. Okay. And I kid you not, right? Okay. So when you look at the monkey, it's got maybe 800 cubic centimetres, yeah. whereas you're at least 1,200 cubic centimetres. Okay. Now, that's an incredible difference in megabytes. Yeah. Right? And you've got a, a speech program built in there. So monkeys can go, oh, 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 right? <laughs> and they can communicate. But communicating is not speech. Okay. If you're, you know, the old postal deliveries used to take mail around, uh -huh. you had to learn the difference between humans who are angry at you and pit bull speak, <laughs> right? Pit bull goes, Arr. you've got to comprehend that. Uh -huh. They can communicate, but they never say, get off my territory, yeah. right? They can't speak. Uh, speech involves sentences. It involves all sorts of things that are not just communication. So monkeys can't speak because they don't have the capacity. So four thumbs. Yes. They walk on all fours. All like, fours. Oh, they can stand upright for a little while, but after that, in a few seconds, they will hover on down. They can't stand upright like you and me. End result, no speech capacity. Oh, and when did you get your hair cut, David? Because one of the ladies said it looks really good. <laughs> when did you get it cut? Uh, about a week ago, yeah. 
was an orangutan having its hair cut? No. Why not? I don't think it, I don't think they ever have to have a haircut. Okay. Now you've made an interesting observation there that most of our PhD students are not allowed to make. Okay. Because they'll do biology, they'll do anthropology, and not once will they think about the fact that hey, they're so different, and the difference is in the number of thumbs, uh -huh. the difference is in how they can touch this, the difference is in how many hands they've got, and it also shows in the fact that they don't need a haircut. Really? You know, I've never thought about that. Yeah, they don't, their hair stops growing. Yours and mine keeps growing, uh -huh. right? And in reality, you'll find that if you go to the Guinness Book of Records, the guy who held the world record never got his hair cut from the day he was born till the day he dies, and technically your hair only lives seven or eight years, but in that seven or eight years, it can grow an incredible length. So he would trail his around, you know, really? seven metres, seven yards long. That's incredible. Monkey's hair stays short because it's got a totally different DNA. Okay. Right? And so you'll find these differences are adding up adding up, adding up. What you're actually saying is that it appears that these different types of monkeys, these different types of apes, were designed to do what they do. And they they do can it grasp very well. the trees very well with four hands, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can walk where they need to walk. They can grab things. They can grunt. But they're not designed to intellectually think. 